All right, welcome to January 2018 on Spray Paint Art Secrets. All right, we're here. Let's get started with some pyramids in the jungle that are having some kind of energetic response. There's light shooting out of the top. So we'll start with sort of a tropical turquoise sky and then we'll continue by adding in some jungly foliage and rocks. And we're gonna be using some interesting tools and I'm gonna show you how to cut that little semicircle out of uh, this something that you might find in your hardware store to make all of that beautiful foliage. And then I'll show you how to make the light shooting out of the top of the pyramids and give it a little color, what kind of cans you want to use to give it that little, little tint of brightness to really stand out in the middle of the jungle, how to make those waterfalls look really steamy. We're going to have a lot of fun with this painting. And just think about all the amazing things that you could paint in your own style using these techniques. And then we're going to move on and change styles completely. Let's do some ocean seascapes and look at that cloudy sky. This is done with fingers and layers of paint. So I'm going to explain to you how to layer your paint and how to use your fingers to make a beautiful foggy cloudy sky. And then we're going to start working on the ocean. And again, we're going to be using our fingers a lot and some paint brushes and some transparent paint to drag that paint defining the shape of the rocks. And it's all the, the details that you put in that gives this, this a real different, sort of more solid feel than a lot of your uh, kinds of spray painting that you might see. It just looks a little bit more complex, a little bit more beautiful, and, and it's good to kind of just take your time and understand a lot of that theory. Then we're gonna move on, we're gonna do some classic space painting, but this is kind of a Christmas in space kind of a thing, I know. Uh, it's January and we've already been just been through Christmas, but uh, you know you might want to enjoy some of those red and green colors and look at the sky. I color I cover this up with some bright lights, but I think next time I'm going to leave that sky the way it is because I really like that galaxy. But so you can uh, you can just take it to that point and learn how to do that sky and those clouds along the bottom. That's a cool effect too. And we'll draw in some mountains, some cities, some pyramids. So if you're curious about what spray paint art could add to your repertoire as an artist, as an airbrush artist, acrylic artist. Uh, you can use spray paint art as underpainting if you like painting with acrylics on top uh, or oils. There's techniques that are adaptable for watercolors, all kinds of stuff. So if you're curious about what spray paint art could teach you and your style of painting, or you just want to enjoy improvising, check out spraypaintartsecrets.com and get our free lesson. Put your email in the form, press return, <laughs> and you will get to your email inbox sent a free spray paint art lesson by none other than one of the originators of this technique in Mexico, Gerardo Amor, teaching you how to paint planets for free. Amazing lesson, really a privilege. To be taught by him. So get that free lesson and you will also get a free materials list in your email when you sign up on spraypaintartsecrets.com. Sign up for free. And we're also going to work on space scenes like that one. And then we're going to move on and we're going to do a really beautiful landscape and I'll show you how to do these clouds and the sun peeking out and the mountain and the foliage effects. It's just a wonderful way to improvise beautiful landscapes that are great for gifts or for doing larger landscape works on canvas or whatever you want to do with these skills. There's all kinds of fun stuff that you can learn how to do in a very improvised and flowing way using a lot of household materials like an old CD or a sweat sock the sponges you use to wash your dishes or just folded paper. Unexpected materials make beautiful effects. So learn more at spraypaintartsecrets.com if you have any questions. My name is Alisa Amor and I'm happy to answer your questions about spray paint art and airbrush art at spraypaintartsecrets at gmail.com. So visit Spray Paint Art Secrets and see you inside. Ciao!